Hi everyone, and welcome to Nutritics. The purpose of this video is to give you a brief overview of the research edition. This edition is one of our educational plans mostly used in nutritional research or in universities. To give you an idea of the main features. Firstly, this edition allows you to add custom fields to food logs. After adding a food and quantity as usual, a customizable form appears where you can tag any data to the consumption. These can be used to tag custom data to foods and recipes, for example, the time or location of consumption, brand of food consumed, supplier name, or even preparation method. Here, a custom field can be attached to the food on this input only or to the food itself. You can click the Add Custom Fields button to add any other type of data, such as a number, text, dropdown, or nutrient. If the custom field is related to the ingredient and it is not a variable, you can check this box to lock it so it will be recalled every time the food is used. This is useful for things like custom nutrients and recording fortification, or for tagging any other properties related specifically to the food. This version also allows you to select which nutrient you would like to display in the food search box. Here we have the default values. Click Settings Preferences to choose which nutrients you would like to appear. This is useful if a particular nutrient is of interest to your investigation or research question. It makes it easier to review the nutrients without opening the food. From the same preferences menu, you can choose which food code you wish to use. You can search by the source database food code, or you can use the Nutritics food code, as well as using the usual food name and descriptor searches. The food codes and database source are shown at the top left of the food search summary box. Here is a McCanson Whittison food code from the 2015 UK data tables. This information also appears on the mouse hover as a pop-up. Another powerful feature is the sharing and collaboration controls in the participant setup panel. Here you can choose to share participant data with other users or organizations. For example, you can set up many satellite accounts for a research project, say one for each data collector, and all data can be sent back to the central license for batch analysis at the end of the project. Finally, when you're finished data collection, you can batch export the data, including all of your custom fields from the start menu, batch tools, batch export. This output enables selection of individual records as well as selection by participant group or category. You can also choose how you want the output to be organized in the drop-down group. Detailed food file provides a full food file showing every food consumed by each participant, complete with any custom fields included. This is useful for creating pivot tables or for data import to SPSS. On the detailed food file option, recipes can be expanded out to their ingredient components for a more comprehensive analysis on contributions to the food category level. The daily totals and averages download will present a table showing each participant's average intake, including standard deviation. If you have any other questions on this, make sure to email us at support at